How are you doing? Good. How are you? Great, great, great. Fabulous. I'm Brendan. Nice to meet you. Brendan. I'm Jimmy. Nice to meet you. There you go. How's it going? Hi, Jimmy. I'm Valerie. Stand up. And I'm Scott. Nice to meet you. I'm also Jimmy. Nice to meet you guys. We've met before. Jimmy. At the first time around at Comic Con, I was at the press and met you guys. So, uh, are you going to be asking the questions? Um, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't. What did I just say? <laughs> Is there any characters you can tell us for season two? Like, like new characters? Yeah. New characters. Yes. Like, many. Yes, we can. There's a lot. Um, uh, we've got John Hodgman? Yes, plays Dr. Agent Hobbs. Or Agent Doctor. Dr. Agent. Dr. Dr. Agent. Dr. Agent Hobbs. Agent. Um, the great John Hodgman. Yeah, we've got Stephen Hogg. The great um, Stephen Hogg. The great Stephen Hogg. Um, plays Flexon. Flexon. Who's made of rubber. Yep. And did Is, somebody say he was a lawyer? He's a lawyer. I never meet him, so I, yeah. he never yeah. told me. You don't read the script either? Oh. Ooh. Whoa. I'm fixing <laughs> um, so if I we find uh, season two, uh, we saw the we just saw the first uh, episode, right? And mm -hmm. it looks like both Overkill and Superior, and we didn't get to see you. You're no. still in a bit of a funk over what happened in season one. I is that am, fair? Uh, 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 humanity is in a funk at me. They're mad at me. A lot of people on social media are uh, are having the audacity to uh, put thumbs downs. Uh, on pictures of Superion, and he's finally just uh, uh, seeing what social media is, and he goes into a bit of a shame spiral because of it, and um, basically goes into indefinite retirement and starts wandering around feeling sorry for himself and causing havoc. Uh, so, is, so it's going to be a different arc for you this season? Uh, yeah, yes, very much. Uh, it's, it's some self discovery for for uh, for Superior. He's going on a bit of a, a bit of a, of a walkabout. And any chance you can tease how that ends up, positively, negatively? I can't tease. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It ends up in a really interesting place for uh, season three. Okay, uh, which is what I'm really excited about. The way that Superior's arc, where we leave it, uh, is like an incredible beginning to what season three is. Going to be. So, so. I, I just love how much, especially this season, how much Superion, you know, he's just 100 years, he's been there, the superhero, he can do no wrong, and the whole world is affected by him, and now he gets so affected by this whole aspect of modern society and social media. It's so funny how this you know, comes from somewhere else, yet he's so deeply affected by this thing that all of us in 2019 get affected by either majorly or minorly every single day. It's right. cool to watch how this all-powerful being kind of tries to figure that out. Yeah, insecure. Yeah. And how about uh, Overkill? Is he uh, he's on a, a different path this season as well? Uh, yes. I mean, he's um, um, he's got a new mission that sort of relates to a little bit of his past that we learn about that I can't talk much about that. I don't you can tease that a little bit. Yeah, maybe. You gotta I mean, give us something. Yeah, I mean, there's, 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 there's... We get to see a little bit of, like, where Overkill actually came from and who he was before he was Overkill. Yes. And how that, he got to be that. Exactly, and there's, there's that sort of aspect to that, a character from that that inspires the next mission, mm -hmm. um, which, uh, which he doesn't get to, he doesn't take that mission alone. He's got partners in crime. Um, and, uh, you get to see just him finding a way to, to work with other people which he's not used to doing. He doesn't really like to mm -hmm. do that. What about, and uh, we're also teased with Dot may or may not have some sort of powers? Yeah, um, so Dot's, uh, Dot's arc in this second season is, is a vast departure from the first season. Um, and I think in a way it's sort of her hero's call. And, um, and the way that she responds to that, but it's kind of it's kind of thrust upon her, and she doesn't have a guide the way that Arthur does in season one. You know what I mean? Um, kind of guided, spirit guided. Sure. Um, but also bad influence. Um, but uh, yeah, so she's um, it's the, the potential power is also this kind of uh, metaphor for her finding herself because she spent so many years bypassing like her own experience and her own trauma by taking care of other people, and now that. She can't do that. She's not needed to do that. She's kind of left alone with herself to see what's what's there. Um, and it's really exciting, you know. And it's exciting because she is now pursuing her own meaning, and um, and there's also room for there to be friction about that, you know, with Arthur, with the family. Um, when she stops performing the role that she always has, 
um, it doesn't necessarily go super smooth. Right on. Um, let's see what else can we talk about in uh, season two. Does anybody? I noticed that uh, the tick is his costume is evolving. Does anybody else's costume evolve a little bit? Do you still wear yours My on your walkabout? I mean, maybe it's a little dirtier. Costume? No, it's your face costume. That's true. Superion has given up on uh, on um, you know you know look, looking presentable for cameras. So he's growing out the uh, he's growing out the thicket a little bit and uh, the face thicket, but also. So I can't say. I guess. I thought it was like a hipster thing. Like no, I just made it. Up. He's making his own bitters in the back. <laughs> he is. He's chopping wood. Uh, but he does actually get out of his uh, super suit. He does for the first time, probably for the first time in a hundred years. He gets out of his super suit and tries to uh, walk around incognito, uh, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really have any effect. Everybody kind of already knows who he is. But uh, I can't, I don't want to give away the joke, but there's a great joke one of the other characters has about Superior's new outfit. Uh, the, uh, the the guy who plays Tyrannosaurus Rathbone has a great. Just look out for that. Just look out for his line about what Superior's new outfit looks like. It's great. Dot's look definitely changes. Uh, again, influences. But also, you know, when you're engaging in certain morally ambiguous, potentially nefarious behavior, like you don't want people to recognize you. So again, face thicket. Face thicket. Yeah. Face thicket. Yeah. Well, Kill's costume does not really change. He, he, he's, he, the mask is on less. Uh, main, I mean, I guess. Possibly, we're seeing just his, his ability to kind of deal with other people, and as opposed to like hiding in a mask. But, and that's like, right. yeah. We also see the sort of vulnerability, of it, you know, of the like, cop. Yeah, well, yeah, the whole. That's true. Situation. That's true. There is a, there will be there is towards the end a a thing a slight change I should say that happens. Um, it's not slight; it's major, but it's. Uh, I'm just saying, like, yeah. nigh, nigh, also not totally in all. Totally true. Um, can you talk about your uh, favorite hiding spot up in the corner of the room? How, 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 what's, he loves to talk about that. the process oh, of getting up? That, I mean, that I've noticed, I, particularly when I saw it this time in all that gear, it can't be. It's it better this time. Awful. <laughs> yeah, it was. A, the situation this year was better. Last year was. Um, they learned from that the way, you know, in a harness. Can you just do this for real up. last year? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, it, sort of, it almost felt like they wanted me to just do that for real. Um, but you know you've got the the, the machetes are back. Like, there's yeah, so much just... going on. But so last year there was a harness. This year was a little different. There's some effects. There's some green screen thing happening. So I'm kind of actually propped up a little bit. He got to sit on made, something. Which made it. It's time. still oh, incredibly what uncomfortable. What a tough job. You got to still sit down. Incredibly uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't get to lay down. No, I'm a dangler. I dangle from the wires. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm floating up there in space on my phone. Seats with you. Oh, that's true. I do yeah, lay down. Yeah, yeah, you lay down in the bed. In season one, not so much in season two. But it's just one scene. There's another one. one. There's a couple. It's just the one. No? I am in a bed this season, okay? Just resting, one season. Right? You're forgetting resting. about. What's the other one? Well, there's... The resting in the bed scene? Oh, I'm in two beds. Yeah, yep. I'm in two yep. beds. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's PG. Yeah, it's not It's not an inappropriate bed. It's yeah. just, that's just, where you're... Just lying in the bed. But anyway, yeah, that is, it's a, that's a very tough, uncomfortable position. Up there in the corner. Just hiding. Yeah. What uh, can uh, you specify Superior's uh, heat vision? Is that flavor vision or heat vision? Uh, oh, those are, yeah, different. Uh, they come out of different uh, uh, cones in the eyes, I think. Um, Was it in a the combination? Season two, it's more, yeah, heat vision, destructo, destructo eyes. We don't, we, don't, we don't have any flavor vision in season two, lamentably. Uh, but he does destroy a fair amount of things with his with his destructo eyes, which I just call them. I yeah, just I was about to say, that. is that a thing? Destruct eyes. Destructo eyes. Destructo eyes. Destruct eyes. Where's got me? that? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's for sure. Been right to. Yeah. What's the favorite thing we can look forward to this season? Your favorite, personal? Oh, um, for me personally, kind of actually with Valerie. There's, yeah, there's, there's yeah, there is. Personally. Right, but there for me, my, there's, you actually get to see a little more vulnerability from uh, from Overkill, and you learn a little bit about his past and how he got to where he is. And uh, uh, so, for, as far as my experience shooting and for the character this season, that would be it. I mean, in general, 
I think the level of ridiculousness that the show gets to with some of the ideas that come out of Ben's head um, are just magnificent. Um, I think, that, you know, I was saying earlier, I, I read them sometimes in the script and I say, that's totally insane. I laugh out loud, it's totally insane. It's never going to happen, and then it's happening. Um, so. Well, yes. <laughs> um, I'm really excited that Doc gets to, pardon me, Doc gets to kick some ass this season, and like literally, it was really fun. Um, uh, before we even started shooting, it was something that Ben wanted to be a part of her repertoire, and um, so I got to start training in doing fight training, uh, mostly Krav Maga, and uh, and then I got to do my fighting in the show because she's got to hold her own, you know, hanging out with hanging You're out with these guys. You're a badass. It was it was Absolutely. really really fun, um, and it looks really cool from everything that I've seen, and uh, it's also something that I love that I've like kept up doing. So I'm excited to see that. It's like action hero dreams coming true. Yeah, it is. It's really good. Um, it is. It's good. And uh, I'm just excited for everybody to see. We have such a big cast this year, and I'm really just excited for everybody's performance from the original cast to all of the, the new uh, characters on the show. Everyone is so, so, so good. John Hodgman, Mark Kudich, uh, Clay, Clay, is right. Right. Clay is so funny. I say it's a super numerary. Stephen Hogg. Um, everybody is just great. So we have a, we have an incredible cast, and we also had some great directors. I thought this yeah. year, more than half of which were women. Is that true? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think more than half of the episodes were directed by women, and, and they were great too. So we have. I just can I send you to Matthew? Okay. okay. Anyway, that's thanks, I'm guys. Forward. Hey, right. appreciate your hey, time. Thanks so much. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Thank guys. you so good much. To see nice you again. To, yeah, my pleasure. Good to meet you. Yeah, have a good one. Take care. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you so much.